Hi everyone, it's Pokedan Sada here. Welcome to our educational video series. And today we walk into a new tutorial about how to use Bifrost Finian Staff. Let's check it out. Firstly, Bifrost is a decentralized application that provides users with many features to interact with the blockchain. Built on Polkadot Network, Bifrost offers staking, liquidity, and trading features that allow users to earn rewards, provide liquidity, and trade their favorite tokens. One of the main benefits of Bifrost is its user-friendly interface, which makes it easy for everyone to use the platform. With just a few clicks, users can connect their Web3 wallet and start using the platform's features. Bifrost also offers low fees, fast transaction times, and high security to ensure that users can enjoy a seamless and secure experience on the platform. Now we will enter the step-by-step -step guideline on Bifrost Banana Step. Let's go! To begin, we'll enter the Bifrost staff through this link and switch network in the upper right corner first. Alright, first, we would like to introduce the vStaking function, an important function in Bifrost staff. vStaking is a key feature of Bifrost staff that allows users to earn rewards by staking their tokens. And in this video, we'll provide a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to use the vStaking feature on Bifrost staff. Step 1. Connect our wallet. To use a vStaking feature, we need to connect our Web3 wallet to the Bifrost tab. Choose our preferred Web3 wallet and follow the prompts to connect our wallet. There are three options for us to choose, but we're going for Talisman. Step 2. Select a token we want to stake. Once we have connected our wallet, navigate to the vStaking tab in Bifrost tab. Here, we will see a list of supported tokens and choose the token we want to stake. Step 3. Analysis After selecting the token we want to stake, click Analyze and we'll see 90 days, 30 days, 7 days, and Network Average API. Below, we see the specific details of the incentive expected total API, also includes the incentive of single token farming. Step 4. Enter the amount to stake Go back to the previous page, enter the amount of token we want to stake, the amount should be within the staking limit specified by Bifrost Dev. Step 5. Confirm the transaction. Once we have entered the amount of stake, click on Mint to confirm the signature. And after that, we'll be asked to approve the transaction, and our tokens will be locked for the selected staking period. Step 6. Monitor our staking activity. We can see the number of tokens we minted and a real-time reward based on the number of tokens staked in our staking above. Of course, if you want to unstake back our token, it is very simple. Just click the switch symbol in the middle and redeem. In the top navigation bar, we see the redemption process and the status. In conclusion, using a vSticking feature on Bifrost Step is a simple and straightforward process. By following the steps outlined above, we can stake our tokens and earn rewards with ease. Next up, let's also click the dashboard tab in the top navigation menu. Here provides an overview of our account activity, including total deposits, total rewards earned, and any pending transactions. Above is a bulletin board that will display relevant information, such as the latest news and events. Besides, we can see the list of tokens in vStaking with our API. Wallet To manage our access, click the Wallet tab in the top navigation menu. From here, we can view access balances and transaction history, as well as send and receive access. Next, we show another function on Bifrost step is farming. Click on the farm tab in the navigation menu. This will take you to the main farm page, where we can view the list of available farming pools and their details. Choose a farming pool. Select the farming pool that you want to participate in by clicking on the deposit button next to the pool. This will take us to the deposit page where we can stake our tokens in the pool. Deposit our tokens. On the deposit page, enter the amount of tokens that we want to deposit in the farming pool. We also need to approve the transaction and pay the gas fee to complete the deposit process. After our deposit is confirmed, we start earning farming rewards. Monitor our rewards. We can monitor our farming rewards on the same page where we made the deposit. The rewards will accrue in real time and will automatically add it to our account balance. Withdraw our tokens. When we want to withdraw our tokens, go back to the front page and click on the withdraw button next to the farming pool. Enter the amount of tokens we want to withdraw and confirm the transaction. We will need to pay the gas fee for the withdrawal transaction. Harvest our rewards. 
to claim our farming rewards, click on the harvest button on the same page where we made the deposit. Our rewards will be added to our account balance and we can choose to withdraw them or deposit them into another farming pool. And the last remaining function is swap. We keep clicking the swap tab in the navigation menu. This will take us to the main swap page where we can select the assets we want to swap. Choose our asset pair. Select the asset pair that we want to swap by choosing the input and output tokens. The swap pair will display the current exchange rate and the estimated amount of output tokens we receive. Enter the swap amount. Enter the amount of input tokens that we want to swap. The swap page will display the estimated amount of output tokens we receive based on the current exchange rate. And confirm the swap. After we have revealed the details of our swap, click on the swap button to confirm the transaction. We will need to approve the transaction and pay the gas fees to complete the swap process. And that's a video about how to use Bifrostat with multiple great features. If you really enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe to Pokemon Insider for more insightful videos. Bye! See you next time!